it's about 1.20 in the afternoon. I'm not too hungry, I'm getting there. So I think what we're gonna do is hike down there to the little road, the little dirt road that those dune buggies were on. And hike back towards camp. And on, along the way, I'll look for somewhere to sit down and make some lunch. And then after lunch, I think we'll uh, call it a day. So that's the plan. Let's start heading down there. Well, that took some time to get to this little road, considering I came from the top of that. It's steeper than it looks. And I keep seeing these droppings everywhere, this dung. I don't know what it is. Um, I would say horse, of course. Haha, <laughs> get it? Um, but they're all up in the hills. And I'm not so convinced it's a horse. And I haven't seen hoof prints from a horse. So if anyone out there knows what kind of droppings those might be, I'd be interested to know. And speaking of droppings, I have seen not one jackrabbit, but a lot of rabbit trails and no droppings. It's really strange because I've been up here a few times and the, uh, the rabbits were everywhere. You could just see them take off just walking down this road. I haven't seen any. Spiral jetties over there. Saw cars over there. It's maybe a mile, half a mile, I don't know. And we'll stop in some rocks right through there. Have lunch before we leave. Well, we're almost back. So I think we'll go up in here. Have our last meal of the camp out. Looks like a good spot right up there. Oh yeah, right here, look at this. Perfect. Haha. <laughs> Ah, nice and level. Uh, home is where you lean your rifle. Looking good. Careful, Steve. Oh, yeah. That looks like it's pretty well cooked, too. Woohoo! Oh, sorry. <laughs> An unsteamy view. Nice. Let's shut it off. I always go the wrong way first. Oh yeah. 
Well, Joe, Mr. T-Max, thank you for lunch, my friend. I invited him out here, but uh, desert's not his thing. Which is cool, it's fine. He's still here with me in food. Oh yeah. That takes ramen to a whole nother level. Fantastic. Well, lunch is cleaned up. <laughs> I was making the water for my cocoa and it had just gotten hot enough, nice and bubbly. And I went to grab it and I bumped it, dumped all the water down there. So, no hot cocoa. That was the last bottle of water I had on me. I have more in my car, but it's not that urgent. And it's time to head back, really. Everything's in the pack. Got my phone over here, but that's about it gun of course I noticed this little den in here look at that it's amazing to me how these animals use what's already there as shelter we could learn a lot from them just use what's already there I think that way in my own life actually before I go buying something I think can I just use what I already have anyway it's time to hop down off this ledge and head back to the car. There's not any cleaning up to do. I just have to set this stuff in the car. So that's it, guys. I'm Utah Steve. Thanks for joining me on another wonderful adventure. I had a great time. I hope you enjoyed watching this series. And we'll see you out on the trail. Give me a manner, a manner thing, carved of wood, a life force thing. Give it an arm that points to.
said to you today, mister, whether you like it or not, heaven is waiting, mister, you say, oh no, it's not going down, Yeah.